Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera. So we continue with the first reactions of alkyne which is hydrogenations. So additions of hydrogens um, H2 1 or 2 mole to the triple bond. So if you have 2 mole of hydrogen so meaning that 4 atoms okay, react with Pt, Pd or nickel. So this 4 molecule sorry, four atoms of H2, okay, will be added to the triple point. So, since you add empat atom, daripada triple point akan jadi single point. So, additions of four atoms of hydrogens. So, same goes to this one. Okay, you add the dual H2. Even though your starting materials adalah terminal alkyne, which is unsymmetrical since you got sini you either set to hydrogen for this carbon you do not have any hydrogen like the H for well, this one is considered as unsymmetrical starting material sorry but for the H2 since they adalah H2 same ataupun identical atoms so they adalah symmetrical so kita tak perlukan Markovnikov so, ada dua mole from the triple point akan jadi single point. Additions of four new atoms. Okay, so same goes to this one. This one is the internal alkyne. So, meaning that tak ada hydrogen. This carbon pun tak ada hydrogens. Tapi, since dia adalah symmetrical, sini pun adalah symmetrical. So, kita tak perlu kan. Markonikov rules. So just additions to your triple bond. Berapa new bonding yang nak dihasilkan depends on the mole of atoms. Kalau dua mole of atoms, okay, ataupun dua moles of reagents, so mean that you can uh, produce four new sigma bonds. So from triple jadi single bond. Okay, so that one for hydrogenations, which is additions of hydrogens menggunakan uh, PT, PT or nickel. Okay, so the second one adalah hydrogenations juga, tapi to produce uh, cis ataupun trans alkenes. So this one dah cover dalam chapter number 3 previously. So kalau you nak produce zinc, and alkene which is dalam bentuk C structure so kita kena guna linda catalyst ataupun nickel boride so if you want to produce a trans alkene so you will need sodium metal in ammonia okay, as your reagent so basically if you have a reaction from alkyne produce a double point okay so you can check whether the structure dalam bentuk trans ataupun cis kalau there is no configurations of cis or trans alkyl so your choice of reagents adalah menggunakan H2 with the catalyst of PT, PT ataupun nickel so it depends on the Equations, okay. So, this is another example. Kalau you ada macam ni and then kita guna um, H2 ada palladium imbarium sulfate which is linla catalyst. So, your product mesti dalam bentuk cis configurations. Can I show the structure? Okay. You tak boleh lukis structure dia sebagai CH3 CH2 and then you have CH double point CH CH2 CH3. Kalau you draw uh, this kind of condensed structure, betul you punya penambahan pada triple point daripada triple jadi double point, tapi tak nampak structure cisnya. Okay, so that's why jawapan you akan jadi salah. So, untuk jawapan yang betul, since dia guna palladium imbarium sulfate, 
which is linear catalyst so kena tunjuk dalam configurations of cis so at least kena nampak hydrogen berada pada phase yang sama ok so bila you guna sodium metal in ammonia you akan produce trans so you boleh lihat dekat sini the positions of H adalah pada keadaan yang bertentangan ataupun opposite direction so meaning that dia berada pada different phase ok so dia adalah trans structure and then you have your true restricted rotations ok so next one adalah untuk halogenations so sama juga additions of halogens to the triple bond so if one mole you akan dapat alkene if two moles you akan dapat alkene ok so reactions from triple bond you add one mole of x2 you will get your uh, double bond ok if you add another one mole of x2 you will have your uh, alkene with tetra halide so tetra bermaksud empat halide group ok so example ok you have two butyne ok so tambah dengan cl one more of cl so you akan dapat uh, this structure ok two two sorry two three uh, dichloro but two in then juga if we add another one more of cl2 you akan dapat two two three three tetra chloro butane ok just you akan dapat empat um, cl atom ok added to your new sigma bond sigma bond pun kena empat ok so this is another example Ok, untuk yang ini, this one adalah unsymmetrical um, starting materials but for your reagents adalah symmetrical reagents so Markovnikov rules tidak ada sebab dia satu S, satu S so for this one, this one pun S, this one pun S so Markovnikov rules pun tak ada Markovnikov rule mesti US plus US Barulah you perlukan Markovnikov rules. Okay, so additions ingat, okay, like previously, penambahan hanya berlaku pada karbon yang ada triple bond. Okay, uh, other than that, this carbon, this carbon or this carbon just remain the structure. Jangan ubah apa-apa pada Carbon yang tiada unsaturated bonding like a triple bond. Okay, so next one we have hydrohalogenations. So be extra careful sebab H dengan X dia adalah unsymmetrical reagents. Sometimes you can apply Markovnikov rule, sometimes you tak perlukan Markovnikov rule. So it all depends on your static materials. So, kalau you ada terminal alkyne, so definitely mesti kena ada Markovnikov orientation. Okay, sebab so terminal alkyne, one part of the carbon triple bond tu dia ada hydrogens, the other one dia tak ada hydrogens. Okay, so except for ethyne. Okay, sebab ethyne, kedua-duanya ada satu hydrogen. So, dia adalah semi Trickle. Tapi product produce mesti dalam bentuk ini. Okay, which is you punya X group akan attach to the same carbon. So remember, kena follow Markovnikov rules. Okay, the products akan terbentuk adalah germinal dihalide, which is your halide group will attach to the same carbon atom. Okay, so Next one, ok ini adalah example, ok kita boleh nampak kat sini you ada carbon triple bond, ok and then you have HCl, so this one adalah uh, symmetrical, ok sebab dia adalah internal alkyne, so this one adalah unsymmetrical, so you tak perlukan Markovnikov rule at your first stage, tak perlu, ok 
and then you get this one so meaning that you can add your CL here or kalau you nak terbalikkan you nak add CL kat sini pun boleh ok but still you will get the same products ok and then we add another uh, HCL but right now you punya structure pada carbon uh, double bond satu ada hydrogen satu tak ada hydrogen so dia dah jadi unsymmetrical starting materials ok berjumpa dengan unsymmetrical reagent so dekat sini kena ada Markovnikov rule so H will be added to cover with more hydrogens Cl will be added to the cover with less number of hydrogens. So that's why you can produce a germinal dihalide. Okay, your X group, tak kisah sama ada Cl ataupun Br, okay, will bonded to the same carbon. Okay, due to the second step kat sini. Okay. So next one, you will have terminal alkyne. So your terminal alkyne, one carbon have one hydrogen. The other carbon has no hydrogens. So kat sini pun dah jadi unsymmetrical reagents. Sorry, starting materials. And then your reagents pun adalah unsymmetrical because H dengan Br. So this one cannot apply Markovnikov rule from the beginning. Okay. And then... From here, kat sini pun you nampak first carbon ni dia ada um, extra number of hydrogens compared to this carbon which is has no hydrogens. So, same thing you can apply Markovnikov rule since yang ini adalah unsymmetrical, reagents awak pun unsymmetrical. So, you will get your germinal dihalide. Okay. So, uh, if you react with one equivalence of HX, okay, satu mole of HX, so reaction you I can stop the cut, double bond. So, you can produce a vinyl dihalide. Vinyl means that your halide group is attached to carbon with double bond. So, that's the the vinyl. Okay, so that one for the um, hydro, halo. So, this is another example. So, if one mole of HX, okay, orientations can follow Markovnikov. Sebab so one butane adalah terminal. One part ada hydrogen. Lagi satu tak ada hydrogen. So, dia adalah unsymmetrical. HCl pun unsymmetrical. So, you can follow Markovnikov rules. So, untuk two pentine, okay, this one adalah symmetrical. Okay, tak ada hydrogen. Yang ini pun tak ada hydrogen. Okay, dua, dua tak ada. So, you boleh dapat uh, two products tapi dalam bentuk mixture. Okay, kita tak ada major, tak ada minor. Okay, kenapa? Sebab kita tak apply Markovnikov rule since satu adalah symmetrical, satu lagi an symmetrical. Tapi, you akan dapat two products. Okay, as a mixture. Not a major ataupun minor products. So, this one for the additions of 2 mole of HX. Sama juga kalau dia terminal, you can apply Markovnikov rule. So, this one you dapat yang ini. And then last one you dapat terminal. The highlight. Okay. Same goes to the uh, this example. Okay. So, next one. Hydrohalogenation juga. Tapi bila you ada peroxide, ROOR ataupun H2. O2. So, for this one, kalau you ada HBr, so dia akan follow anti-Markovnikov orientations. So, this is the orientations. Okay, so kat sini you ada satu H, yang ini tak ada H. So, okay, no hydrogens. Okay, so ini adalah unsymmetrical and the HBr for unsymmetrical. So, you ada uh, ROOR. So, you can apply anti Markovnikov rules. So Br will be will be added, sorry, to the carbon with more hydrogen. So yang ini ada satu hydrogen, so dia akan ditambah pada carbon yang ada hydrogen. So hydrogen pula akan attach to carbon with less number of hydrogen. Jadi terbalik. So dekat sini. 
Okay, so that's all. Continue dengan next video. Thank you.